What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with the Beginner Guitar Show for Jail by Kanye West. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button. And the guitar we're jamming on today is called a Breedlove C25SR. Guys, the first thing that you're gonna know to play Jail on guitar is that we're gonna be in standard tuning and we will not need a capo to play this song. The next thing we would usually go over for a song is the structure, but for Jail, we're actually gonna repeat the same chord progression as well as the same picking pattern through the whole entire song. So you don't need to worry about the structure for this one. And the last thing that you wanna know before we dive into Jail is the three chords that you need to play this song. The first one is E. The next one is A. And the last one is F sharp minor. And I'll have short chord tutorials for all of those chords linked in the pinned comment below if you need them, as well as a bar chord free alternative to play this if you don't have bar chords down just yet. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Jail. Guys, I'm stoked to get back to a song like this. I know it may seem like a little bit of a weird one. Kanye West and guitar don't really necessarily go together that much at first impression, but it's actually a really groovy song. It does have two guitars that are the main instruments through the whole entire song. And it's a lot of fun to play and very beginner friendly. So I'm stoked to share this one with y'all. So with that in mind, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the chord progression with a strum pattern that repeats through the whole entire song. Now we'll also be touching on that little riff that plays through the whole entire song a little bit later on. So stay tuned if you wanna learn that as well. It's very beginner friendly, and pretty fun to play. So with that in mind, the chord progression that's gonna repeat through the whole song is gonna be E. F sharp minor, A, and then back to E. Just like that, repeated through the whole entire song. For each one of those chords, we're gonna do two sets of two down strums. So four total down strums, but we're gonna do them in sets of two. And it's gonna look kind of like this walked through with the chord progression. Start with our E chord, we're gonna go down, 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 down. Next chord, down, 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 A, down, 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 back to E, down, 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 down. Just about like that, repeated through the whole entire song. Super beginner friendly, other than that F sharp minor chord, which like I said, I will have a bar chord free way to play this in the pinned comment if you need it. Now this is pretty straightforward. It's pretty much just a chord progression with a pretty simple strum pattern to go along with it. But one thing I will add, one tip I'll add, is when you're strumming this, you don't necessarily need to strum all the way out like that. You can do kind of just little soft half strums instead and it kind of gives where you're just strumming the top couple of strings or top few strings it gives it that little bit more kind of bassy punchy less accentuated kind of chord that's what we're looking for here we want it to be just real punchy and quick so down 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 kind of like that you can also use some palm muting there to give you that kind of more percussive and kind of muted sound if you want to so with that in mind, guys, a couple times through the chord progression and the strum pattern that's going to repeat all the way through jail will look about like this without me talking. And guys, the last thing that you need to know to play Jail on guitar is that little riff that repeats through the background of the whole entire song. Now, this riff plays underneath that chord progression that we just learned. So, if you're covering this by yourself, you may want to use a loop station, or you may want to just kind of alternate between that chord progression and this little riff. It totally is up to you, depends on how you're covering it, but this is that little riff that plays through the background of the whole song on electric guitar. It's really cool and actually easier to play than it sounds. So, you'll notice that we're kind of zoomed in here, and that's because this picking pattern is actually higher up on the fretboard. So just for reference, this is 7th fret, this is ninth fret, and this is 10th fret. Everything in this picking pattern is going to be between 7th fret and 10th fret on the G and B strings. 
So with that in mind, let's start dissecting this pegging pattern. So we're gonna start here on the B string. We're gonna have a ninth fret on the B string with our ring finger here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick that and we're gonna do what's called a bend. And we're gonna do a very small bend. And all that is is exactly what it sounds like if you've ever done a bend before. All you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the string with that ninth fret on the B string. You're gonna pick it and you're gonna push up with this up on the fretboard just very slightly. And it's gonna give you a little bit of a kind of alternative sound to what you would do if you were just playing that note normally by itself. It'll sound kind of like this. Kind of like that. You let it just push up just a little bit and it kind of goes, uh, kind of goes like a little higher. It bends up just a little higher. So we'll start with that. We're going to hit that ninth fret on the B string. We'll give it a little bend. And then go to seventh on the B with our pointer finger. And we're going to go with our ring finger up to ninth on the G. Let that ring out for just a second. And then we're going to go back to that ninth on the B with a little bend in it one more time. Just like that. And we're going to repeat that section three times. So we'll go ninth B, bend. Seventh B, ninth G. Ninth B, bend. We'll repeat it again. Ninth B, bend. Seventh B, ninth G. Ninth B, bend. One more time, ninth B bend, seventh B, ninth G, ninth B bend. This is where it's gonna change up a little bit after we repeated that three times. We're gonna go to seventh on the B, then 10th on the B, and then we're gonna repeat that first section one more time. So again, ninth B, or ninth bend on the B, seventh on the B, ninth on the G, and then finish it up with one last ninth on the B bend. Just about like that. And we're gonna repeat that picking pattern right there through the whole entire song. So, really the only thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna play that first little section that we went over. We're gonna play that four times, but before we play the fourth time, in between the third and the fourth time, we're just gonna add that seventh, tenth, and then we repeat that one last time. So it's not a terribly complicated picking pattern. It's very repetitive, but if you're new to bending, this might be a little different. And one real quick note that I'll add, and I probably should have said this a little earlier on in the video, when you're bending, be careful to not bend too hard or you may break a string. But yeah, that picking pattern like that repeats through the whole entire song underneath that chord progression that we learned in the beginning of this tutorial. Nothing too crazy here, guys, but with picking patterns like this, I like to play it through it once very slowly so that you can make sure you have all the right stuff in all the right places, and then I'll play through it a couple times full speed so that you can match up with the speed of the song. So slowly, once through the picking pattern that's gonna play all through the background on Jail will look about like this without me talking. And a couple of times full speed through the riff that's going to repeat all the way through jail will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Jail on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I've got 875 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what I'm up to in between guitar lessons, hit me up on Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Guys, I am so stoked to share Jail with y'all. I haven't taught a song like this in a long time, but I actually love teaching songs like this on guitar 
because they're a little unconventional. Rap songs and guitar don't always go together. I think it's getting a little bit more common, and this song is an example of that, but you don't hear it all the time, and you don't really think about it right away whenever you think of guitar or rap. You don't put those two together, and I'm a fan of both. I love rap music, and obviously I love guitar, and so I love whenever I find a song like this that's a really good combination of both. And this song, like I said, it it's not just that you can translate this to guitar, it has guitar in the song. It has two different very clear and defined guitar parts that are pretty beginner friendly and really fun to play. So like I said guys, that one chord progression, E, F sharp minor, A, and then back to E, that repeats through the whole entire song. And then that riff that we learned as well, that just repeats through the whole song underneath that chord progression as well. And that's really pretty much the only instruments in the song actually. And so. What's really cool is that if you're doing a cover of this song, which I would love to see some covers, so if you end up doing a cover of this song, let me know, you can really get creative with it. And you can really kind of just get creative with what you do in terms of guitar. You can stick with that chord progression if you want to keep it more beginner friendly, or you can incorporate and switch over to that little picking pattern, that riff sometimes as well, or you can use like a loop pedal and, and do both. And I just love the idea of artists and cover artists being creative like that. And especially with a song like this, it's really cool because it's already a very unique song, typical from Kanye. You know, it's a very unique song, very unique sound, very unique style. And I just think it's so cool. I think there's a lot of cool things that can be done with this song on guitar. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning as well and hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.